Hello everyone, this is uh, our video on uh, uh, the fourth, this is the fourth lecture in this uh, quantum mechanics uh, series where we are solving the uh, questions for TAFR and uh, like good questions, tough level questions that usually come in the exam, TAFR exam or CSMNet. So yeah, we will be continuing that series, this is the fourth lecture. Uh, so today we will be doing time independent perturbation. Be solving some really good questions. I hope you will enjoy it. Time independent perturbation. We were doing scattering. We did three uh, lectures on scattering. Um, now we'll be doing perturbation, okay, which is also a very important topic in this uh, in this section okay, in quantum mechanics, where uh, from where uh, you are also asked questions in interviews. So it's better to um, get a clearance and uh, solve more and more extensively so that uh, you can uh, answer anything they ask you in the interviews okay so this is the first question here calculate i assume that you know the theory so if there's a first order i won't uh, be teaching you theories only numericals here and uh, like in the midst of numericals also you'll be able to understand a lot of theories so yeah calculate the first order correction to the ground state energy ground state energy of an unharmonic oscillator of an unharmonic of an unharmonic oscillator of of mass m mass m and angular frequency omega sorry angular frequency omega uh, subjected to a potential subjected to a potential subjected to a potential Vx is equal to subjected to a potential Vx is equal to okay, let me write it here Vx is equal to half m omega square x square plus Vx4 okay where B is a parameter where B is a parameter independent of x okay, b doesn't depend on x b is a parameter independent of x the ground state wave function is given ground state wave function the ground state wave function is the ground state wave function is psi 0 0 is equal to m omega by pi h cut to the power 1 by 4 exponential minus m omega x square by 2 h cut. okay so your ground state energy is given potential is given so you have to find the first order correction of energy all right yeah please try this question Otherwise, I will definitely do it, but uh, you have to try. Calculate the first order correction in the ground state energy of an unharmonic oscillator of mass this angular frequency omega subjected to a potential this where B is a parameter independent of X. Okay.
okay so let's solve it okay so the first order correction we know right what is first order correction first order correction first order correction to the ground state energy to the ground state energy is what first order correction to the ground state energy is e01 right we write like this that is expectation value of perturbed hamiltonian right so psi naught we can write uh, like uh, psi naught which dash psi naught right yeah okay what is psi naught psi naught is given psi naught is given that is m omega by pi h cut 1 by 4 this one so this is kind of an integration now so integration it be minus infinity to infinity okay and uh, the psi naught whole square and h dash right so m omega by pi h cut m omega by pi h cut 1 by 2 because it's squared yeah because it is squared so pi h cut and uh, now exponential m omega by exponential minus m omega x square by h cut right because 2 will be gone because it is squared so 2 will come here and so they will be cancelled out and h dash what is your h dash h dash is your the perturbation term how to get the perturbation see we know potential of a harmonic oscillator is one half m omega so x square right so the extra part anything that is extra that is to the right of this expression is your perturbation term so this is your h dash okay b x got it because this is the normal uh, potential so this is an extra term what do we mean by perturbation an extra term like extra energy term so bx fourth is the perturbation so h dash will be what bx h dash will be bx fourth and this is your dx okay so i will take all the constants out so a m omega by pi h cut okay b goes out minus infinity to infinity x fourth e to the power minus a m omega x square by h cut dx all right so this uh, kind of uh, uh, comes in which kind of this is x to the power m e to the power minus alpha x to the power n dx yeah is equal to what integration a. okay you need to be zero to infinity okay is equal to what gamma m plus one by n factorial gamma m plus 1 by n whole divided by alpha to the power gamma sorry alpha to the power m plus 1 by n okay so so 0 to infinity that means i have to make 2 here 2 m omega by pi h cut over to the power 1 by 2 b 0 to infinity and this one x to the power 4 e to the power minus m omega x square by h cut dx if you see this is your m this is your n right so m in place of m i will put m put 4 in place of n i will put 2 yeah so 2b m omega by pi h cut to the power 1 by 2 into 1 by n factorial 2 and gamma m plus 1 that is 4 plus 1 by 2 that is 5 by 2 gamma 5 by 2 divided by m omega by h cut is alpha here to the power 5 by 2 yeah so 2 to get cancelled out uh, and uh, if you see um all right okay this is a what gamma 5 by 2 that means 5 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 sorry 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 right or what yeah 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2 uh, then 3 by 2 into half gamma half so gamma half is root pi so 3 by 4 root pi right so 3 by 4 root pi right now m omega half pi h cut m omega by pi h cut to the power half into this will go up h cut by m omega to the power 5 by 2 into 3 by 4 pi root pi so root pi root pi cancelled out and this whole thing will cancel out with this one 
it will give me what why what it will give me h cut by a omega 5 by 2 minus 1 by 2 that is 2 okay i hope you understand this this is basic thing so i won't explain it okay b is also there now b is also there 3b h cut square by m square omega square so i will write it properly so 3b h cut square 4 m omega square m square omega square. so this is the energy first order correction okay got it Let's move to the next question. Question number two. Okay, simple harmonic oscillator. Simple harmonic oscillator of mass M naught. And angular frequency omega, angular frequency omega is perturbed, is perturbed by, is perturbed by an additional potential, is perturbed by an additional potential. Bx cube. Okay. Evaluate the evaluate the second order. Evaluate the second order correction. Evaluate the second order correction to the ground state energy. To the ground state energy of the oscillator evaluate the second uh, correction to the ground state energy of the oscillator simple harmonic oscillator mass m naught angle frequency omega is perturbed by an additional potential bx cube evaluate the second uh, correction to the ground state energy of the oscillator try try first
Okay, done. Yeah, simple arming oscillator mass m naught angular frequency omega is perturbed by an additional potential dx cube. Evaluate the second order correction to the ground state energy of the oscillator. Okay, so answer. Let me do it, and you check. Okay, okay. Second order. The formula you do you know second order correction. Correction. To ground state energy, ground state energy formula is what e zero two is equal to summation. Okay, zero stats m square divided by what e zero. Minus e m zero. Okay, so here additional potential is b x q. So b x q is your what h t s, right? Whatever the additional is, that is your cut away, cut cut out. So see how to solve this kind of questions. Okay, see your x. We know x is for how many oscillator x is what h cut by two m naught omega to the power half. Okay. And this is a dagger plus a. This is your raising operator, lowering operator. Okay. So uh, your h dash is what b x q. So when I am writing this, so it obviously we have to kind of write like this, right? So this will come. So how will we handle it? See, uh, how will we handle it? Just a second. Hello. हाँ 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 मैं खाएगी जुबियो नहीं तो पॉकेट से ये पॉडी क्या आज से साल में आज से ले जुबियो ना हाँ हाँ के सो आह इट्स कट बाय टू एम नॉट ओमेगा ओके सो इफ आई राइट लाइक आह एक्स क्यू के सो इट विल बिकम व्हाट h cut by 2m naught omega to the power 3 by 2 and this will be multiplied three times okay so a dagger plus a a dagger plus a a dagger plus a all right is that is that clear so i will just put it here in place of h dash okay so let's put it in place of h dash and uh, let's see what happens Otherwise, let me do it first. This one. So, squared by two m naught omega to the power three by two. Uh, okay, this is okay. This is I have to do something like zero. This is what? So this is m. Okay, let's directly do it here. This the I am doing the denominator here. Okay, sorry, not numerator. Okay, so now. Um, see what will I will get only terms like this three plus zero. You have to solve it, and you will see you will get terms like this. Okay, you have to solve it extensively to get these terms. Right. The other contributions actually uh, they go away. Okay, that's why I am writing only this one. This is your root six. Okay, and uh, how I am getting root six? See, the thing is, this is a lowering operator. Anything, so this is your root n, n minus one. This is the raising operator to n, so this will be n plus one root over n plus one. So these two we have to remember for harmonic oscillator. This is the lowering operator. The lowering operator. This is the raising operator. Okay. We have to remember these two in uh, harmonic oscillator. So if I use it three times on three, I will get root six. All right? Yeah. Okay. So and the other one, this one, if I do, I will get zero a a a dagger plus a a dagger a. 
sorry one i will get what i will get three okay so i will just put it root six plus three okay so i just have to put root is six plus three here then i will get the value okay i hope you can do it so we have to remember the raising lowering operator to solve these kind of questions Okay, let's move to the next question. Okay. You, this one you do yourself, the one next one, because second order, another second order correction question this is. Question number three. Question number three. Particular mass. Particular mass M naught. Particular mass M naught and charge E. Charge E oscillates along the x-axis. Oscillates along the x-axis. Okay. In a one-dimensional, in a one-dimensional harmonic, in a one-dimensional harmonic potential, potential with an angular frequency omega with an angular frequency omega okay if an electric field e if an electric field if an electric field e is applied if an electric field e is applied along the x axis along the along the x axis evaluate the first evaluate the first and second order corrections evaluate the first and second order corrections first and second order both corrections to the energy to the energy of the end state okay Let's try this question. Particular mass M naught charge E oscillates along the x-axis in one D harmonic potential with an angular physics omega. If an electric field E is applied along the x-axis, evaluate the first and second order corrections to the energy of the nth state. Let's try.
Okay, could you solve it? Particle of mass ms m0 charge e oscillates along the x-axis in one d harmonic potential with an angular frequency omega. If an electric field e is applied across the x-axis, so second order correction. First order signal. Okay, let me solve it. See. First of all, we need to have the uh, perturbation, right? Otherwise, how will we calculate the first second order correction? First of all, potential energy is what? Potential energy due to an electric field due to the electric electric field is what? E is equal to one minus sorry potential energy na U is equal to minus E E X okay minus E E X so this is your perturbation okay so perturbation perturbation is u h is h dash is equal to minus e x all right okay so first order correction we know first order correction is e naught one that is uh, what sorry first order n one is equal to h dash so minus e e x so x we know simply e e h cut by 2m omega half okay a dagger plus a this is your h uh, h ts is not yeah right um, okay so uh, e okay no, no no this is okay I made a mistake this is only x okay x we know is what h cut by 2m omega to the power half a dagger plus a. okay so e n1 first order correction okay first order correction that will be uh, 1 h dash 1 right 1 h dash 1 right so um so it will be what if i put one squared by two m omega a dagger plus a one see this this will be zero okay because if you see one a dagger plus a one see one a dagger 1 plus 1 a 1 I told you in the previous question a dagger of n is equal to n plus this raising operator okay so a n is equal to n n minus 1 so 1 will lower it 1 will raise it so that means this would be 1 uh, root over root 2 and uh, this will become 2 right so plus because n plus 1 this is 1 and this is root n 1 and it will become zero so this is your zero and this is of course one of two is zero right the inner product of one and two is zero so this is zero. okay so the first order correction is zero so we will have to check the second order correction second order correction formula is there e n2 is equal to summation m okay dash uh, n h dash m square divided by E n zero minus E m zero. Okay, so n h dash m I have to calculate. If I have to calculate, so this is minus E e h cut by two m naught omega half. Okay, here n a dagger plus a and there is m. Okay, this is n. This is m. Okay, so you have to take the square of it. Yeah. Just have to take the square of it, and this one will be different. This one won't be zero. Okay, yeah, all right. So we'll just put it there in place of the numerator. That's it. That will be the answer. Okay, yeah, all right. Okay, write on homework. Write on homework. This is the fourth question. Homework. Write down. Evaluate the first. Evaluate the first and 
second order correction understand second order correction to the energy of the to the energy of the n is equal to one state of an oscillator of of an oscillator of mass m and angular phase omega omega subjected to a potential subjected to a potential vx is equal to half m omega square x square plus bx okay where bx is very well less than half m omega square x square all right that's the answer okay so now that's the condition please try this question okay and uh, we'll do more numericals in the next class thank you